What's up guys, welcome back to FNG Academy. Buck here, former Green Beret, here to help you guys get selected. All right, what's up guys? So today we're gonna talk about my time on the team and what ODA life is like. This is gonna be a series so I can fill you in on team life. There's so much to cover. So this is gonna be episode one of team life. That sounds a lot like teen life. Like teen, we're not gonna have like babies and shit. All right guys, so I do need your help. At the end of the video, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and give me your ideas for a giveaway. We're trying to do a, a giveaway with a book, a signed copy of the book, and something to go with it. I'm thinking of like a sick ass knife. Um, that dude on Instagram, he's an ex-seal, he's a spec operator. He makes some dope knives. If you guys have any suggestions for giveaway, hit me in the comment section and let me know what you're looking for. All right, guys, so talking about team life, man, there's so much to talk about. But a lot of you guys have been asking, like, do you, do you ever get to see your kids? Like, what is it like in your family? Are you gone all the time? Like, how often do you get to be home? Things like that. So I'm going to just start episode one with talking about generally what it's like to be a Green Bray and walk around the, the post with that long tab on and what your day-to-day -day life is like in the states so that's what we're going to hit today episode two maybe we'll cover overseas and then whatever adjustments you guys want to make from there we'll make them but in the states team life is awesome man i can't even lie to you this shit's badass like people treat you different you get treated like like you're just the fucking cool guy and everyone shows you a lot of respect the infantry cats show you a lot of respect and it's fun to teach them you go to ranges a lot and they'll just want to soak up all the knowledge that you can give them and it's a truly like humbling cool experience to be looked at by these other bros and and know that they look up to you and it's an awesome feeling but other than that you just go hit the gym in the morning uh, usually sometimes you'll do it with a team you'll do a team workout in the morning or you'll just go hit the weights by yourself and then you show up to the team room about you know 8 30 9 by the time you're done it's super laid back when you're in ho at home. N nothing is taken too seriously until like right before deployment and that's when all the buildup really starts cranking up and uh, pre-deployment starts cranking up. But when you're just getting back or when you're like mid, yeah, the schedule's booked and you got a lot going on, but really team life uh, in the States is chill. We'll all go train together and then we'll come back and, and grab beers together and just kick it and then go home to our wives. And you know what? If there's nothing going on that day, go home. You're not going to waste time. You SF guys work their asses off enough. We're not going to sit in the office from because we have to be here from 9 and we can't leave until 5. Man, fuck all that noise. If we don't have anything going on, we're out. And we're going to go home, go grab beers together, go kick it, go for a workout, whatever we want to do. It's big boy rules, man. And that being said, everyone on the team is an adult like and you get treated like an adult there's no more talking down like you're a private there's no more talking shit being disrespectful putting people at parade rest everyone's on first name basis and everyone's just trying to get the job done and i don't ever have to watch another green bray do what he's got to do that's just not how it works we're all trying to get everything done the best we can the most as efficiently as we can to move the team forward so when you come into the office you guys kick it, bullshit a little bit, and then it's down to business. What do we got to do today? This got to get done. This got to get done. This got to get done. Roger that. Let's get it done. Let's knock it out. Let's get the fuck out of here. And that's it, man. It's it's a chill life. Obviously, um, there's so much more to talk about as far as training and in the training schedule and what deployment's like. But like I said, this would be two hour, three hour long video if we did that. So right now, I'm just going to talk to you guys. Just get you excited about the idea of being a green bray being at home getting treated you know like a badass it feels good man i don't care what anyone says the shit feels good and if you appreciate the way that these guys are looking at you you'll do everything you can to give back to them if you're training with them you're going to teach them everything you know all these 11 bravos that look at you like you're the man you're going to do anything you can for those dudes the mortar men that come up and and refresh bravos which is a weapon sergeant on how to uh, sling mortars. Love those guys, man. They're the best. All the guys that were on our um, missions with us as infantry, they come out and they'll drive the cars. 
I mean, those guys are just badass. And it's such a great feeling to know that they look up to you and that you get to give back to them. So for this episode, we're just going to cover home life. And that was it. It's awesome. When there's nothing to do, man, you go home. That's all there is to it. You got training to do, you go hit that training, knock that shit out, whether it's CQB, um, mortars, uh, recoilless rifles, your AR flat range pistol, whatever training you guys got to do. You come back, you crack some beers, do a quick AR after action review about how that training could have gone better next time because we're always trying to improve. And then you go home, man, spend time with your family, spend time with your kids, soak up that feeling and soak up that time you got with them because, I mean, half the year, every year, you're going to be gone. So, but we'll cover that in episode two, talk about deployment life. And this is going to be a whole series talking about what it's like to be a Green Beret to get your guys excited about what you're actually signing up for. So that way, when shit gets hard, you're motivated and you stay your head in the game because you know this shit's going to be worth it and you know what you're signing up for. You know, there's probably a lot of dudes that quit that would have been good Green Berets if they just knew how good it was going to be once they got here and how happy they were going to be once they got here. So I'm super stoked to have all you guys. Can't wait to hit the next video. We're at 2,000 subscribers already, bro. This isn't even a two-month-old channel. I'm stoked about it. That being said, that fucking live video is already this weekend. That was for 1,000 subscribers to hit the live video. We're well over 2,000 already. Thank you, guys. That's awesome. I'm stoked about it. Saturday, Saturday, 2 p.m. is the live thing. Bear with me. That's 2 p.m. Mountain Time. I'm going to jump on here live and start answering questions. You got to bear with me. I spent like three hours yesterday downloading apps and figuring out how to do uh, connect my camera to the computer. I'm a Bravo. You know, I'm a weapon sergeant. We break stuff. We don't, we don't tech out, man. I'm not an echo, but I'm doing my best for you guys because you guys have been so cool and you actually truly appreciate this content. And I promise you, we got some cool stuff on the way. Head to California uh, next month to talk to Chris Holdsworth, my man. I can't wait to talk to him about what it's like to be in the ring, what his mindset is like for dealing with stress and dealing with the trauma and then we're going to compare it to war and it's going to be such an awesome experience for you guys to get to see that and see what two extremes of a career look like like someone who gets fucking beat to shit for a living and then someone who gets shot at for a living and what that's like it's going to be awesome talk to you guys soon see you next time